And we are back out here live at Hinkley High School. We have the cheerleaders out here. We have the band out here on the first day of school. That's right. Uh, we also have, by the way, APS Superintendent uh, Michael Giles here as well. Michael, uh, thank you for spending just a couple minutes with us uh, here this morning. We always Come appreciate it. Come, Come a little closer. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. Yep. Uh, you're going into year two now. Uh, you had goals last year getting acclimated. What are Absolutely. your goals for going into year number two? Yeah, thank you for asking the question, and thank you for being here with us this morning. Really excited about the start of a brand new year. As you said, last year I took a lot of time getting into the community, talking to our constituents, to our students, our um, educators, and finding out what do we want to be as we move into our new future. And I heard a lot from the community. Use that data to craft what we're calling our new um, strategic plan, Destination APS. You may remember I talked about APS being a destination district, and that's what we're moving towards. So the goals for me this year are really bringing the new strategic plan to life, solidifying that, and then starting to put in the infrastructure to really deliver on our promise of creating a rural public schools as the destination district. And part of that strategy is to grow your own program. Talk about that. So one of the key strategies in the, uh, the new strategic plan is going to be around quality talent. And so we're talking about recruitment, we're talking about hiring, and we're talking about uh, retention of uh, educators. And uh, one of the other strategies is growing our own because we know that sometimes the recruitment effort isn't always as effective. And and so how do we create a system within our own institution where we're growing students to become educators or we're bringing in family members as paras and then becoming educators? So right now we have some things going on across the district that have proven uh, effective, but in our new strategic plan we want to be more concerted in our effort and allocate more resource, resources to really streamline that at, a, at an earlier age, at an earlier point, so that we secure educators that are going to stay with us for the long haul. And Superintendent, you talked about the goals just now. You also have a teacher shortage. Uh, you're also trying to get more, more, more teachers in here, as we mentioned. Talk about this bond issue. Yeah. How needed is it to reach those goals and to re really uh, to solidify APS here? Yeah, that's extremely important. First of all, I really appreciate the board for approving the bond proposal that will go on the ballot here in November. It's absolutely necessary. When I talk about the idea of the destination district, creating a district that delivers um, on a, 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 a excellent education for all of our students, provides resources, provides pathways, provides the type of um, uh, facilities that our students need to really thrive. This bond measure is going to be extremely important uh, so that we can update our facilities, so that we can expand upon facilities, so that we have more CTE opportunities in our schools, not only in the high schools, but in the middle and also moving down to our elementary schools. We're also thinking about building, or not even thinking about, we're planning to build um, a new PTEC pathway in the uh, northwest area that partners right along with our um, health industry that's right there. You know that we have to build, with the expansion of the city of Aurora, we have to build on the northeast side of the district as well. So we're looking at a brand new high school, two, two more uh, P8s out in that area, and again, the bond measures are going to help us to be able to do that. Also, it will um, free up some money so that we can begin to compensate our educators too, because you know that will always be an issue. And so if we're able to pass those measures, we're able to better compensate our educators and bring them into the system, and they'll be able to thrive and serve our students. So. A lot of big plans for the future. All right, Absolutely. thank you so much for taking the time out and talking thank with you. us Thanks today. Thanks for being here. Yeah, of course. All right, have a All wonderful right. day. Have a good All school right. year. Thank you so much.